This guy looks like he's missing something. Let's fix that. What is up, everyone, and thank you for joining us once again on the D Star Zero One channel. I'm your host, Dexter Oraculous, and today we will be opening an upgrade part. That's right, we're going to be opening up an upgrade part from Takara Tony. That's right, you can find him on Facebook, and he has these um, Doc Ock or Anti Ock suit arms for your PS4 or uh, Insomniac Spider Man here for the PS4 or PS5. So we're going to open it up. We're going to see how easy it is to place in. If I have to get hot water, then I'm going to I'm going to have to get hot water. But we're going to see how easy it is. I believe I bought these for about 40 bucks, something like that, and you can upgrade hit, upgrade them pretty well. So let's see how it looks. Enough of me talking. Let's just jump right into it. All right, so let's see what we get. Haven't opened this up yet. Looks like we get an assortment of arms. We got one, two. Get the back piece, three and four. Other things that come in the package, it looks like he's including some really awesome stickers. I can't wait to put these somewhere, probably on my desk. And we get a really cool looking business card. Look at this. And it looks like it says, Custom Edit Spider-Man Tentacle Add-On for anti ox Suit Spider-Man by Takara Tony. So let's look at that card real quick on the top cam right there. Now let's jump to the front cam and let's look at that card right there. So let's just jump right into upgrading this guy. It looks like should be fairly simple to figure out. We just need to get this middle part on. So how do we do that? Should be simple. All we gotta do is remove this. This very sensitive part. Ooh, I hate losing little tiny pieces like this. And then we will probably add this on. Let's see, probably like that. Oh wow, that was surprisingly easy. Let's see, maybe we can turn it around maybe? Is there a difference? Okay, so yeah, it only goes in one way. This is I thought. And there you have it. He even has articulated joints for the arms and whatnot. So that's that. One thing we're going to do also is we're going to put it on the regular Spider-Man, which I also have right here. Let's go to the top cam. Let's remove all these arms out of their bag. And these look really solid. Wow. Looks like he made these himself, casted, 3D printed, maybe 3D printed. I can see the 3D print lines. Yeah, it looks like it's 3D printed, not sure. Maybe he can go in the comments down below and tell me himself. <laughs> there you have it. Let's look at the front cam. Wow, look at the details on this. Looks like there are screws right there so that you know that's gonna be a sturdy fit and they're nice and tight. Let's see if we can focus up there. Wow, look at the fit and finish. The gold and the black look absolutely amazing. Wow, I can't believe that he made this. All right, uh, they look all the same, right? They all have how many articulate? One, two, three articulation points. And it looks like, yeah, they're pretty much all the same. We're looking at all the arms here. So let's plug these in. Super easy to plug in. Looks like I don't need hot water. So this is the fun part, the part where I'm a little bit quiet. Some of you enjoy me being quiet because I talk too much. This one, I think I put this one in wrong. Ooh, that one's a really tight fit. It might need some hot water, but let's just keep moving on here. So here we go. Ooh, fit and finish. Come on. Okay, there it is. Easy as that. Let's see here. I really wish that Spider-Man came with, with bicep joints or bicep swivels. And there you have it. <laughs> Look at that. Takara Tony knocking out of the part with these anti-Ock arms. Really, really solid looking. Perfect fit for your anti-Ock. Wow. Dang, I really wish Figure Arts came with these. That would have been really cool. But nonetheless, we have someone making them for us. And let's see if we can get him in a spider pose real quick. Just like a landing pose. And there you have the arms. It seems like I'm having a little bit of issue getting this one all the way in. But you know what? It works. Let's see. So we got to adjust it like so. Maybe have him like in a defensive position. Something like this. Oh, wow. That looks really cool. Let's see if we can pose it better. 
It's going to be a decently short video because that's all you had to do. It's super easy to put on. Now the question I have is how does it look like on regular suit Spider-Man? And we're going to see that right now. Uh, first, let's remove this. Okay. The head came off. Don't worry, we'll put that on later. And there you have it. <laughs> no, nah, this doesn't fit. But I just wanted to see how it looked because they both have that same uh, peg. I'm starting to think this one needs is wrong or maybe I just need to plug it in better. Probably hot water that one up. As you can see, let's look here. So that one's not going in all the way, as you can see right here. Might have to hot water that one up later. So that's how regular suit Spider-Man looks like with the anti-Oc arms. And I have to say, this looks really weird. Doesn't match the color palette at all. But hey, you know what? If you want to do that, sure, there, there's the option to do so. Let's put this guy back on and let's come up with a conclusion of the anti-Oc arms by Takara Tony. All right, everyone, and we got him outfitted. I managed to fit this piece back on, like I was saying. Uh, I did not need hot water. I just had to screw it in and work it in, uh, which was the only issue I think I've had with this upgrade kit. Besides that, I have to say, this looks absolutely amazing. The fit, the finish, the look really completes this figure. Uh, honestly, I, was, I hoped that SH Figure Arts would make something like this, but unfortunately... We, like I said before, Tony uh, Takara Tony made this for us, which looks really cool. Uh, if you guys can get it, go ahead. He's on Facebook. I'll see if I can find the link. And so you guys can talk to him and pick this up for your anti-Ox Spider-Man. So far, just look at this. Let's just take a second and look how awesome that looks. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Do not forget to rate, comment, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you're always going to know when I post new videos. And last but not least, you can go ahead and go into my link tree and visit my Patreon top tiers. Get free action figures. Could be Marvel Legends. Could be an SH figure. Could be this one. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.